So you're sailing. With your best friend. You're in a little boat. Out at sea. After a while the wind picks up. The waves get bigger. And before you know it, a massive wave picks the boat up. Flips it and throws it. With you and your best friend into the water. And you sink. But... The boat's upside down. There's some air trapped in there. And you and your best friend can stick your heads up in the upside down boat and breathe. Even though you're deep underwater. And your best friend turns to you and says... Bob? Yeah, Jerry? Could you do something for me, Bob? Yeah, Jerry. Could you just hold your breath, please? What? Could you just, like, not breathe? Why? Well, you know, there's only so much air in this boat, Bob, and I'm, I'm going to need it to breathe, you know. Oh, so if you could just not? Not breathe the air. Yeah, thanks, Bob. Please. Oh, uh, okay. Hang on, you're not more important than me. Ah, friendship. One thing there ought to be with friendship. You are not more important than me. You are just as important as me. And what I need is not more important. Or less important than what I need. Let's make pizza. Pizza, I love pizza. I put on some tomato. I put on some cheese. Oh, yeah, I love cheese. I'm going to put on some olives. Yum. Hey, put on some anchovies. What? Let's put on some anchovies. Uh, I, I don't know, I don't really... Come on, you've got to have anchovies. It's not a pizza without anchovies. I kind of don't want anchovies. Look, I'm putting on the anchovies. Lots of anchovies. Uh, there's a space there without anchovies. Could you just leave that? For some me? more anchovies, sure. Yeah, 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 anchovies. I don't want anchovies on my base. Whoa. Get your sticky fish out of my face. Whoa. I don't want anchovies on my base. Hairy little fish! What do you do when what you need is being made not important? Here's what you do. Here's what you do. You stick your fist up and you sing, I don't want to on my beard. Uh, no, no, you probably don't. Here's what you do. You say, You disrespecting me? You're a tool! A stupid, salty, furry, fish hating, air stealing tool! Ooh, no. Here's what you could do. Here's what you could do. You say, so, I've been thinking. We need to talk. Something like that to get a bit of discussion going. And then you use the three-step combination. Now you're talking like a cha-cha. Okay, sure, like a cha-cha, but it's a cha-cha-cha. Three steps. Okay, what's the first cha? Okay, so the first step is you say something like, I feel da 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 da. Oh, hurt and small, like you don't care about what I want. I feel frustrated and furious. <clears throat> Second char. You say something like, when you da 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 da. When you put anchovies all over the pizza and ignore that I didn't really want to put anchovies on the pizza. Or say we're in a capsized boat when you tell me not to breathe. Uh huh, and then there's the third char. And then the third char. Cha cha cha. Third char, you say something like, next time I would like it if da 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 da. Next time I would like it if we split the pizza in half so you could have anchovies on your half and I could have none. And next time I would like it if instead of telling me not to breathe, we drown together. Okay, that's not a good example. To recap. When what you need is being made not important. First you say, hey, listen, can we talk about something? And then you say, I feel da 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 da. When you da 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 da. And next time I would like it if da 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 da. So hey, gotta tell you something. Yeah. I feel like crap when you call me stupid in front of our mates. Oh. And I would like it if you could just call me stupid in private, or preferably not at all. Okay, I got it. I'm sorry. Thanks. Now we're going to talk a bit about... Romance! We've all been in and out of friendships for ages. Since we were little kids. But romance? Your first flirtings with the idea of some kind of sexual relationship? That's something new. You may already be well and truly there. Or it may be a long, long way on the horizon. But whenever you start to go there... Even start to think about going there... It's new. And it can be like going to a new country. Where you don't know what the rules are. How to behave. How not to make a fool of yourself. Where you don't know the language. But there is a secret to this new country. There's a secret. And that secret is... This country is not really different at all. Even though there's all kinds of new feelings. And new situations. The customs of romance are the same as the customs of friendship. The idea of the drowning friends in the upside down boat. Your needs are no less or more important than my needs. Yeah, that doesn't change. When the friends are not just friends, but two people who have romantic or sexual feelings for each other. It's the same. Equal importance. 
So there's someone you're kind of hanging out with, and they want to send twenty texts a day and talk every night. And you're feeling like, whoa, with all the texting and the talking, I'm feeling just, I'm suffocated. It's, it's too much. It's not the kind of relationship you want or are ready for. That is perfectly fine. It's just like eating anchovies all over your pizza. There's no rule that says you have to do what you aren't comfortable to do. Your needs are no less or more important than their needs. Say there's someone you really like. And they've said miracle of miracles that they really like you too. And you're going to meet them behind the sheds after school. And you think this is the day we are so going to kiss today. Then you get there. Behind the sheds. And you reach for them and you open your mouth and they... And they step away. They don't want to do it. This is perfectly fine. Just like expecting someone to give you your air in an upside down boat. Their needs are no less or more important than your needs. Sure, there's uncertainty. Confusion. It is a new country. And we don't know what the hell we're doing. But what we want to tell you is this. It's good to act on your feelings. It is totally fine to set a limit when you're getting uncomfortable. It's good to try for what you feel you want. And if someone you're with has a different feeling. Want something else. It's also totally okay. Remember, if you don't know what to do. You're getting some kind of pressure and you're not sure what to do. It's always okay to ask for help. To talk to an adult. That's what they're for. Ah, that's what they're for. Yeah. We are all learning how to work this stuff out. The thing to remember. What you need and what I need. Are of equal importance.